Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday. It is May 10th, and we are, <clears throat> excuse me, we're in the fifth week of, of Easter. Uh, and there's two optional memorials. Um, first is, uh, we're celebrating both um, St. John of Avila, a priest and doctor of the church, a uh, Spanish mystic, as well as uh, St. Uh, Damien of Molokai. Um, a priest who served uh, the leper colony on Molokai. And so friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherd. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. <clears throat> morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for them springing. Fresh from the word. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven. Like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden. Sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light, Eden saw play. Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation, of the new day. <clears throat> you, O Lord, are the source of life. Alleluia. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright heart. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are the source of unfailing light. Give us true knowledge of your mercy, so that we may renounce our pride and be filled with the riches of your house. 
You, O Lord, are the source of life. Alleluia. You sent forth your spirit, O Lord, and all things were created. Alleluia. Strike up the instrument, a song to my God with timbrels. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exult and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You sent forth your Spirit, O Lord, and all things were created. Alleluia. God is King over all the earth. Make music for him with all your skill. Alleluia. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God and God, King of all peoples and all ages, it is your victory we celebrate as we sing with all the skill at our command. Help us always to overcome evil by good, that we may rejoice in your triumph forever. God is king over all the earth. Make music for him with all your skill. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no more power over him. His death was death to sin, once for all. His life is life for God. In the same way, you must consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the true vine. Alleluia. You are the branches. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the true vine, alleluia. You are the branches, alleluia. Christ was given up for our sins and rose again to make us righteous. <clears throat> Let us cry out to him, saying, Save us, Lord, by your victory. Christ, our Savior, in conquering death, you brought us joy. In rising again, you raised us up and filled us with the abundance of your gifts. Stir up our hearts and sanctify this day through the gift of your Holy Spirit. Save us, Lord, by your victory. You are glorified by the angels in heaven and adored by mankind on earth. As we celebrate your resurrection, accept our worship in spirit and in truth. Save us, Lord, by your victory. Lord Jesus, save us. Show your great mercy to your people. As we look forward to our own resurrection, have mercy on us, and protect us today from every evil. Save us, Lord, by your victory. King of glory, source of life, when you come again, may we be one with you in glory. Save us, Lord, by your victory. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? As we call to mind our own prayers, our own intentions, as we remember and lift up all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We gather all of our prayers and praises into one, offering them to the Father with those words that Jesus himself gave to us, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of all holiness, guide our hearts to you. Keep in the light of your truth all those you have freed from the darkness of unbelief. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is, what a gift, what a treasure it is for us to join together this morning and each morning, praying the prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church, and praying for all of her members. And how good it is, too, that you and I, this little group of prayer warriors, can, can be together and support one another, not just in the morning, but throughout this day, so that whatever I face today, whatever you face today, none of us faces it alone, first and foremost, because the Lord is with you, the Lord is near. And then, you, and then we have one another, praying with, praying for each other throughout the day. Friends, <clears throat> On this Wednesday morning, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.